Anchor. Yep. Yeah, it's an acorn maker. Acorn maker. Yeah, so you'll encounter those every now and again, maybe. But, uh, yeah, it's just kind of a mid-stage boss. And now, those enemies, were those spawning infinitely on those platform levels? Yeah, so that's a, good, that's a really good point. Um, here at PAX West, we're seeing a lot of people um, play the platforming stages for the first time. And one of the things that we've noticed is that um, you can't clear the screen. The enemies are infinite. They keep coming at you. They keep floating from the, ceiling, from the sky. Um, so just... Shoot and run for your life. Yeah, it's, run, it's literally run and gun. Yeah. Right. <laughs> because different games have taught us different mechanics, I feel like. And, and yeah. definitely as a completionist myself, I've played games where I need to clear the entire screen before yeah. I progress any farther. Yeah, not in this game. You just got to run. Run for your life. Nice. So here we're actually And I'm seeing... loving it. Who is this little uh, mustache, like evil porky pig looking exactly. guy? Exactly. Oh, but he's adorable. He's yeah. a little cutie pie. Yeah. Um, so the, James is actually in our shop right now. So by playing the first platforming stage, he's accrued some money to be able to go into the shop. That's right, because not a lot of people realize it's not just run, gun, and then one type of shooting. You have different shooting mechanics, yep. as you yeah. can see here. Yeah, so in the demo here at PAX West, we have, um, the demo has three different weapons and some charms and supers, but in the actual game, there'll be many, many more that you can purchase, um, but we're keeping that a surprise. A little bit of a we'll tease. have to find out on, on September, September 29th. 29th. <laughs> there you go. We're just going to, we should just keep saying. Yes. <laughs> so, by, by beating those levels, grabbing those coins, right. you can then go and spend these at these shops, and then, oh, and let's see how Yeah, so that. here James is equipping himself with his... Is that a homing? That's, uh, yep, so that... That's a smoke dash. Nice. And then, yep, homing here. We're going too fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so in this demo, there are three different weapons. There's a spread shot. It's uh, it's strong, but it's short range. Mm -hmm. There are medium strength shot is a P shot. And there is a homing weapon, and which is here. weaker, but it comes in handy a lot of the times when you have... Um, enemies that are homing towards you, or if you're a new player or something and your aim's not perfectly on, um, the homing weapon really Is that me on day one? No, I was actually hinting to James. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but I love that card. If you actually grab that card one more time, yep. yeah, it looks like you have your, your primary shot, your secondary shot, yep. you got a right. super, which I right. didn't know about when I first played the game. Yeah, so... That was a little the... hidden gem that I, like, somebody, like, from ID and Xbox was like, by the way, you know you have a Use super? Use your super? Yeah. I know. Yeah, um... So in the HUD, you'll see little cards slowly come up, and they come up by attacking enemies or the boss, or when you parry throughout the game, which is a really important function, um, you, your cards come up a lot faster. And then when you have five spinning and rotating cards, that means you have a full super that you can execute by tapping B. Oh, so yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Because, yeah, because you can only get hit so many times. Right. Yeah, uh, in the demo, we have pre-equipped you with four health points, but in the actual game on September 29th, September you will have night. three. <laughs> I love that. No, I love a challenge. A lot of people are really big fans of games, platforming, boss level stage games that you can really have a challenge for. Right. And I think it's important that, you know, that that genre is still expanded upon. And I think selfishly, as obviously I'm a fan, we I've told you many times, I love the idea that this is bringing a super unique art style, a super unique play style, and also just the time, care, and credit that Studio MDHR took to put into this game really shows. And yeah. now this is a boss battle we're actually watching. This is, though, right? this is one of the first bosses you'll encounter in the game. He's and like a cute little blueberry. He is. <laughs> With really, really uh, big eyebrows. <laughs> Yeah, they, um, it, in the 1930s, that cartoon aesthetic, everything was very dramatic and, uh, you know, overdone. So you'll see a lot of that throughout the game that we've uh, gone and captured. But in these earlier bosses and stages, it really helps you um, master the different techniques and mechanics of the game. So, for example, this one, like I said, is one of the first bosses, and it really makes you use your dash There's a, a super. Yeah, yeah, there's a super, and now he is about to enter... You've stunned him a little bit there, and oh. here is, is the third phase. So James is actually playing in normal <laughs> mode right now. If he was on simple, he would have um, had a knockout right then and there. Okay, so with the different difficulties, mm -hmm. we'll also do different stages of bosses. Right. So we were in, for, from a gameplay perspective, we were inspired by uh, games of the late 80s, early 90s. Those really challenging, difficult games, um, Gunstar Heroes, Contra, you'll see oh, a yeah. lot of that reflected in here. Um, but we have incorporated some modern nods. Good, Good job, job James. James. By the Good way, I'm so proud of us. While we're over here talking and nerding out, James is like, <laughs> like Did it. you guys see that? Mom, where's my mom? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mom, so mom was watching. Mom was watching. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, then, yeah, we have incorporated some modern nods to make it fair. Okay. So there is a simple and a normal mode that you can enter into at the beginning of each at the beginning of each stage or uh, boss level, rather. Yeah. And then if you beat the entire game on normal, we unlock new game plus. 
Oh, that's for you. I didn't yeah. know about that. Yeah, it's finely tuned for uh, elite players. Okay. It's a really good challenge. All right. I don't know if I'm James Elite, but... Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. You tune in and watch my streams. I'll stream, because this is definitely a game I'm going to be streaming. Oh, my, of course. We're huge yes. fans. Now, it looked like there was a bit of a review screen after you beat that stage boss. There was. Well. Like, almost so, like a grade, e, grade scale. Yeah, so what's really great about it is when you are playing in single mode like this, you still have a little bit of competition against yourself. So you get a grade at the end of every level. Um, and it's based on a number of different factors, and they're weighted accordingly. So, for instance, if uh, James had completed the level with more health points or used his parry functionality a lot more, or used his uh, super mm -hmm. uh, more, it all would have contributed to a final grade. So the final so grade can be got, basically... I got a B minus, which I'm pretty proud no, of. You're just spamming, it, the, it, spamming the homing <laughs> missile button. I like the idea that, that it rewards you for shaking up your play style because ideally yeah. if you want to be a stronger player at this game and you want to really because I, I can tell you right now there's gonna be a lot of time trial people who yeah. are like trying to beat this in like so many times it is it would be a dream come true if somebody would speed run this like a speed so run so there there is my call to action yeah. gauntlet Who throw gonna speed run <laughs> who's gonna be the first person to set the speed running record yeah. James James it probably be me no pressure yeah. <laughs> I'll get in early on the 29th and be make the oh, top sorry, of what day James <laughs> The 29th. Oh, there so we go. Oh, I, I didn't know. I, I might have forgot the day. So. <laughs> no, no worries. Now, this is actually like a World 2. How many people yeah. have seen World 2? Right. So, for the purpose of this demo, we've unlocked all of World 1 or 2. We've, oh, we've kept some I haven't seen some of this stages stuff. on lockdown, just for a little bit of element of surprise for the people attending. But James is now in World 2. Um, and you even see like little interactive. Right. Too. Yeah. So, we uh, it is an interactive overworld. So, we have some NPCs, some non playable characters. Um, they offer up some hints, tips, tricks. Um, there might be some hidden Easter eggs. This is gorgeous. I want this, like, on a mural on my wall. Like, please sell art. Like, sell all your art. Please. Yes. Like, it's very important. Like, because this is this is gorgeous. I would put this in my office. Thanks. Yes. Well, I'll, I'll, we'll paint a mural for you. There we go. How about that? Can you put a little uh, little Cuphead Stein with there with a little beard? Yeah, that would be a good idea. Not that you guys don't aren't busy already, like, trying to launch a game. Yeah, we got lots of time. Yeah. Right? Right? And actually, it's worth pointing out, you're an artist on the game. I am. I'm one of the artists on the You're team. also an artist and a producer, producer I think. Producer, yeah. yeah. So not only are you helping ship the game, but you actually, some of this is your hand, your hand drawn. Yeah, well, I actually inked the entire game, um, which was... Wow. Uh, it, <laughs> oh, whoa. Hold, hold on. I know, I'm trying I've to focus this, on this. I've never seen so, this level. Right, so this is um, one of the platforming stage from the second world. Holy cow. And Y'all ain't messing it's around. It's interesting. So duck the duck. Duck the duck. Get All it? Right, you literally get a duck. You gotta duck. duck the duck, yeah. And then when you see the antic of the honk honk, that means the car train's coming in. The only way to avoid that is to parry these pink cards. It will flip you to the ceiling. But the interesting thing. So it flips the thing, gravity. Right. Is that your controls also flip? So now it's down to jump when you're up there. Oh, you just flipped my brain upside down a little bit. Mm hmm. Gotta keep you on your toes. I and heard this game is too easy. And now this is like a mini boss at the end of right. the platforming level. Uh, in the middle of it, yeah. So nice. I don't wanna ruin anything. Like, James, you gotta get through it. There you go. Yeah, this is kind of oh. like a different phase to that uh, platforming stage. Yeah, I have, I, and I don't think many people have seen this actually. Is this, and this is some of the content that people are getting to, maybe not this level specifically, but some of the content people are actually getting. Yeah, you, exactly. It's unlocked, um, but this is probably the first time that we're seeing it. Um, <laughs> on oh, way. Like, oh my gosh. Look away, Mom. <laughs> and you only got halfway through that level, too. Yeah. Ooh, really? That was pretty good, though. You I want to see, see that one more time. Well, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> James like, oh, crap. the worlds are unlocked, so James would have been primed by the time he got to this by really mastering different mechanics and things like that. But throwing gonna, them right into it is not I was just going to ask, like, I'm guessing, and again, correct, you know, I don't want to go into any territory we don't, we're not ready to talk about, but no it worries. sounds like there's some progression unlocks as oh. well. So you get to World 1 because yep. there's some basic core mechanics you need to teach the player. Absolutely. And then, like, maybe a new shot is unlocked. Well, now you need to teach them how to use that new shot to the exactly. best Exactly. So by the time you would naturally get to this stage, you will have been parrying your way the entire time. You'd be dashing, you'd be jumping, you'd be attacking. You'd be you're, doing this in your sleep. You'd be a professional by now, yeah. <laughs> Do we need to do like an up, up, down, down, right, right, infinite health move? Yeah, exactly. On this dev kit. Uh, 
some of the responses I'm really curious to hear about. So the fans are getting a chance to play it. They they're are. getting their hands on. And I it love, is. this is why I love PAX, by the way. It's not media. It's not, you know, I mean, there is media elements, but it's not about the media. It's right. not about the commercial. It's just about fans who would actually yeah. buy the game and which play is, the game. Which has been, I don't mean to geek out here. No, or no we're like, allowed on the stage to okay, geek. Okay, good. Geek this is zone. like geek. Okay, good. It has been so incredible, and I just want to take this opportunity to thank everybody who's waited in the queue, who's, uh, like, it, it's just, it's mind-blowing. Okay. I've been ball and chain to my desk for the last few years, so to be here in this in this conference center right now is, like, so surreal, and I'm, like, really excited. Can well, you tell? on behalf of Xbox fans, <laughs> yeah, shoot, like, literally, <laughs> on behalf of Xbox fans, just personally, uh, thank you. This game is gorgeous. You yeah. guys have done some amazing work on this. And, and we're not done yet. I just want to say, like, holy cow, no, thank I'm you. Just, no, the, the feeling is very mutual. The, the entire team has just been overwhelmed with the response and the support that we've got from everybody. That oh, now you're in a plane. It really made, yeah. um, you know, 15-hour days, seven days a week, well worth it. And this this started out small, too. Like, it you did. were saying, we were, like, two or three people? Three people, yeah. So there was the two um, creators, their brothers, um, out of Canada, and then one developer. And then I joined on shortly thereafter. And then um, we progressively scaled up. You know, we didn't we didn't think there would be an appetite for really. We didn't know. We were all in. Totally you thought this was a little industries. bit of a, ni a, a niche thing. Exactly. That's exactly what we thought. So we were like, you know what? Let's make this uh, a boss Mega Man style select screen game. See what happens. Throw it out there. And uh, it just after the reception that we received at our first E3, where we showed um, some clips in the montage. We saw that there might be some appetite out there, so we. Oh, people couldn't shot. stop. I, I, I couldn't shut up talking about it, <laughs> and I know a lot of fans couldn't shut up either talking about it. I, that, it blew us away. We were just like, "What's going on?" You know. So I think at that point we said, "You know what? Let's go big or go big or go home." We didn't want to be in retirement one day and thinking coulda, shoulda, woulda. So we went all in. We quit our jobs and uh, you doubled down, made doubled it down. bigger, made it better. Much bigger, yeah. Yeah, because that's what I think a lot of the fans in the beginning were like. We're like, wait a minute, I heard about Cuphead, now I right. haven't heard about it. It's like, you guys really were like, no, well, based on your response, we want to make the game yeah. that you guys are loving and you guys are seeing and excited yeah. about. Yeah, absolutely. Like, last year when we had to do that delay, um, it was it was a decision that we felt poorly about. Like, we felt really bad because people were looking forward to it, but it wasn't a hard decision. No, we, we wanted just... to remain true to our vision and deliver the game. We had one shot at doing this, and we wanted to make it right. So it wasn't it wasn't too hard to, to make that call. At the end of the day, I'm always a big fan. I always tell any developer I ever talk to or anytime I see them online, I'm like, please take the time to make the best I know, game we're so thankful that you for that. are proud and excited about. And I know Microsoft's been a partner with you guys to help make sure this is super, super optimized. Supportive. Absolutely. And, yeah. and I know those decisions aren't easy to make, yeah. but again, when it comes down to it, I think the cake speaks for itself that you guys have baked, so really? it is so, like, <laughs> literally right, it is like, so exciting. And I bought merch last night, by the way. Oh, did you? Oh, actually, I bought the come shirts. bearing gifts for you. No, you didn't. No, you did didn't. A custom in the from Larry? I stole it from Major Nelson. <laughs> Here you go, really? just for you. Thank you so much. Do you see this? They probably can't zoom in on it, but... Probably not. This is, this is, and some people are getting these here, I think, if they go to Major Nelson. Yeah, at 3 p.m. today. So, on behalf of nerds everywhere, make more merch. Yeah, no, I, we... Um, I want reasons to throw money. For now, we've been just focusing on uh, this uh, game, uh, but I'm sure course. at the end of the month, there'll be lots of lots of fun things. Now, speaking of merch, actually, uh, I know we can't hear the very loud upstage, very hustle and bustle, but... It's really worth pointing out the sound of this game, the soundtrack. Oh uh, I've heard you guys talk briefly about it, but maybe share some of that. Yeah, absolutely. So there's nearly three hours of custom composed jazz music um, in this game using a 10 piece big band, a 13 piece ragtime ensemble, a barbershop quartet, a solo pianist, and a tap dancer. So you there's literally didn't leave anything out? Nothing. We wanted to remain as authentic as possible to the era, did everything by. <laughs> That's okay. Look, were you, how close really were you? So close. Was that close. the last phase? That was, yep. Yeah, yeah. I love that the bird is, like, dead and dying. And, like, I haven't seen and any of And you're still having to attack it? Right. No, you're doing really good. Let's do the interview. Let's just sit here and just watch. <laughs> so, yeah, the composer was a childhood friend that we grew up with. And um, he's the lead percussionist for the National Ballet, and he did it for us, um, which we're so grateful for. Christopher Madigan, we love you. 
Yes, um, yeah, it is yes. a great soundtrack. So it's um, it's available right now on a special edition vinyl. But um, it'll oh, also I be saw that. It's like digitally. gold and brown. It's like right. super like old. And <laughs> someone's like, I mean a bonbon. Yeah, this there is not rated, bonbon. is it? No. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what we're rated. Okay, we'll, right we'll, now. we'll leave that Fair conversation. <laughs> yeah, so this is the Baroness. Um, oh, she's she got an angry looks cupcake cute. friend. Yeah, he is not very happy. It looks like she's hiding in her castle. And again, this is actually a great uh, stage where James is using his homing weapon because that cupcake will chase you. And so it he doesn't have to perfectly aim at any time, and uh, it's a really good time to use that. I bet you all see lots of uh, lots of gamers when they're doing these speed runs and they're doing these challenges with their friends. Also, there's another layer there of challenges of difficulties with shooting mechanics. I'll be like, yeah, but yeah. did you beat Bon Bon with, with just, only your spread yeah. shot? Your spread shot. Let's see it. Call to action. Like, I feel like there's going to be a lot of gauntlets being thrown. Yeah. I'm definitely going to use homing shot for a while until I feel confident. But again, these are many, many stages. You yeah. haven't revealed how many worlds yet, but you guys are kind of keeping that. Well, there, are, there are four, oh, have four you? overworlds, yeah, okay. but we... Um, they are not in this demo. Um, that is definitely under wraps. Yeah, you gotta buy, yeah, you gotta buy the right. game to see yeah, this world. Exactly. On what? Sorry, what day, Josh? September 29th. September <laughs> And we're in September. Last time we talked, we weren't in September yet. I know. So the days are just. Uh, they're go Yeah, it's it's a really crazy. So let's talk September 30th. What, oh my gosh. What, what happened September 30th Sweet. for Maya? I'm <laughs>